This time in the Quick Speed Shop, we're using the F-250 to haul the new F-250. All right, so a little wind, it's a little windy out, but what I got here is a 1995 F-250 heavy duty, old body style, long box, extended cab, 351 with a ZF5 speed, two wheel drive, that I just bought off Craigslist. This truck is uh, in real nice shape underneath. It's been oiled up. It came out of uh, a town just a little west of me here. And I bought it from a real nice guy. And his son put it in a ditch last year. Bent the front frame rails over, smashed the bumper, smashed the front clip. But the rest of the truck, it also did a little wad in the, can you see me? Where's my hand? Right there, a little wad in the back of the box back there. But other than that, the thing is pretty solid. It's got 160,000 miles on it. I paid $275 for it. Bam. My plan is here is put a new front clip on it, straighten the frame rails out. I'm going to get some better tires on it. It had two flat tires on when I started. I've got some time lapse of what it looked like when I got that. I'll show you it in the video on that in a second. But what I'm going to do is clean this up and this is going to replace my Chevy S10. This is going to be my new winter ride and hauling vehicle. hit the ditch it spun around it's got a little bit of wide in the box here I've already got a tail light in stock I got a rear bumper in stock uh, didn't really break the paint except for here so I can get in here and I can uh, push this out a little bit so overall this thing's pretty solid for being as old as it is it's got a little bit of rot in here that's not a big deal um, rot in the cab corners where these things always rot I'm gonna put cab corners in it and uh, it's got the full floater forward uh, ten and a quarter inch or whatever it is rear end the exhaust is wadded behind the wheel I'm gonna go ahead and put a Probably a Flowmaster muffler on this with a, with a pipe coming out the side here. Um, the thing is solid. It came with this cap on it, which is in good shape. It needs one window, but uh, the rest of it is pretty mint. Let's go around to the driver's side. A little bit of rot again in this side of the box. Not too bad, but the box is pretty straight except for a little wad right here, which I think is because the bumper is pushed into it back here. So I'll get the bumper off. I'll try to straighten this out a little bit. Got some rod in the cab corner over here. Like I said, I'm going to redo that. This truck's been fixed at one point. It's got some body filler in the door, and you can see the door. When the kid wrecked it, he, he opened it up and wadded it into the fender here. So I gotta straighten this out. Probably uh, try to mud this up a little bit and take the suck out of it. The rest of the door is, is real nice, it's rust free. This fender um, is just tweaked a little bit up top where it mounts, and there's not really any damage to it. The clear coat's coming off it, but I'm gonna try to save this fender. I think this is a replacement fender because it's not rotted on this side like these trucks usually do. So I think this is probably a replacement fender on this side. And I'm going to have to put another fender on, on the other side. The hood is also wadded and the bumper shot. But I can't open the door right now because of the fitment issue here with the fender. But when I get it down off the trailer, we'll check out the interior. Up front here, you can see what the big problem is. The front frame rails are squared locked like this. Bam! The core support is rotted out. I have a new one in stock already at the Quick Speed Shop. So I'm gonna have to get a torch and come along and chain this thing and heat the rails up, drag the rails back into shape, uh, get the new core support on it. All this is all loosey-goosey and uh, the header panel behind the grill is smashed. I have another one of those from a truck I parted out. So I've got at least half the parts to fix it. The radiator's busted. I've got a good radiator in stock. So the thing has been oiled underneath uh, with like fluid film or some type of deal like that for several years. So there's very little rust in the bottom side of the truck or the frame. Everything's nice and oiled up real nice. Under the hood's all coated down real good. So this truck is very solid for the year. Um, it's 24 years old. It'll clean up nice and make a good truck that'll be usable for, for many years. So I'm gonna get it back to the quick speed shop. We'll drag it down off the trailer and check it out a little bit more. All right, I got the truck unloaded. Let's check under the hood. Thank you. 
Aha! What we got here is the mighty 5.8 liter 351 fuel injected V8. I fired the truck up and I see it's got 166,000 miles on it. But it uh, starts right up and it runs good. I haven't run it very long because the radiator has broken all the coolants out of it. <clears throat> but as you can see, it's been all oiled up real good under here. There's pine needles stuck and everything. So it's in pretty decent shape rust wise. And um, unfortunately, the hood is bent and twisted. So I'll have to get new, a new hood for this. But let's take a look at the interior. Alrighty then, bam, I got the uh, nice XL interior here. But I do have upgraded bucket seats with the lumbar action on it. Can you see that? Where is it? Down here? Hold on. Bam! Got the lumbar action in the seats. So this is a nice interior. It's in good shape. You got the five-speed stick. Obviously it's missing the radio, but I got some Ford radios in stock. Um, it has cruise control and uh, intermittent wipers, manual door locks, manual wipers. The back seat area is good. I got a rubber mat for a floor mat. That's pretty good for a work truck. So the interior I'm all is a very nice shape for 166,000 miles. It's got slight wear on the driver's side seat, but other than that, it's, it's pretty good shape. The dash has got one crack in it, but it's a, it's overall, it's a real nice interior, so it'll be nice cruising around in this thing going down the road. All right, so that's it. My new smashed up F-250 extended cab long box two-wheel drive truck with a 351 and a five-speed. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna tear the front clip off this thing or get the frame straightened out and I get it back on the road. This will be the new quick speed shop winter truck slash parts hauling slash trailer towing slash people hauling slash green machine. So uh, that's it. Come on back and we'll get into the front end and see what how the extent of the damage is. So as always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I'm putting out new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. Hit the bell for alerts. Tell your friends. And as always, we'll see you right here with more fantastic Ford truck action at the quick speed shop.